This is the third video in the playlist, Ethics and Artificial Intelligence, a survey. And in this video, we're going to think about what an artificially intelligent system is. And I can already hear some eye rolls through the screen because you're thinking, the one thing I don't need in my life is someone else trying to define AI for me. Um, I get it. Uh, everybody does it. But let me say a couple things about what I'm doing. Um, first of all, you'll notice that I'm going to try to be consistent and talk about a definition of artificial intelligence. I'm not making the claim that this is the one true definition. I'm saying this is a helpful way to think about it. Because remember, when we were trying to define ethics, it was the same kind of problem where there's not like this easy universal definition where I can just kind of look it up in the dictionary and then I know what the definition is or type it into my search browser and be like, okay, now I know what it is. Um, you'll get thousands and thousands of results in your browser, both when you're trying to define ethics and when you're trying to define AI. So what I said then about ethics was that you can think of there being three types of definitions. There are those that are basically right, but not particularly helpful as we're like practically walking through and trying to figure out the lay of the land. Um, and then there are uh, definitions that are basically incorrect. They have some misleading or false information in them. And then there are definitions that are basically correct but are also helpful in helping us think about what counts as AI and what doesn't. So my attempt is to give you a version of the third kind, um, a definition that's, that's helpful, uh, that basically correct also. And also, I think it's fair um, for me to talk about where I'm coming from um, as we talk about AI, because as we get down the road, you might have questions about, wait, does this really count or not? And so now you know my cards are on the table. Here's how I'm thinking about it. So I think we need four parts to a definition, OK? So it's got to be a, in a system. It's got to be part of a system. That system has to be non-organic. Uh, that system has to manifest some activity of intelligence. And um, that's, that intelligence has to be a result of the system itself learning. So let me go through each of those four parts of a definition there. So this is pretty boring stuff here. Um, I, uh, this is just classic definition of a system. Like in, you think of it in terms of purpose. Um, it's, a, it's like a unified entity trying to accomplish its purpose. All the parts are contributing to that um, working out of purpose. Uh, if there's a part that's not doing any, any, making any contribution, then it's not really part of that system. Uh, OK, so a little bit boring. Uh, this is, I think, hopefully, the, the least controversial thing that I'm going to say. Um, that system has to be non-organic. Okay, So if that system comes from nature or is the result of a process of evolution, uh, then I don't think it doesn't make any sense to me to call it artificial intelligence. Um, now, I know there is like some art natural intelligence that can be enhanced um, by AI, and that's a different thing. We'll talk about that later. But um, yeah, like the, the, the system doesn't get to be called AI if it comes from nature. And I have these pictures here to remind us of that, but also to help us to remind us that intelligence can and does take a lot of different forms. Nature has given us many kinds of examples of things that really do count as intelligence. Um, and I'm throwing that at reminder out now because it is an issue, I think, in AI and the ethics of AI that people think of intelligence as like the human is the, is the, the culmination of all these processes. And, and human intelligence is just one kind of intelligence. Uh, I don't think it's very helpful to get too caught up in thinking about human intelligence exclusively. OK, um, so right, that system, that non-organic system has to manifest some function of intelligence. What I'm suggesting here is that we're not trying to define intelligence. That would be too much of a task, too big of a task for us right now. And I, we don't need to. Instead, just think about some of the things that a system can do that we point to and say, aha, there is some intelligence here. There's, this is, something's happening here that we associate with intelligence, OK? Whether that be classification, whether that be recognition, collaboration, or persuasion. 
uh, and you can tinker with that list a bit. Um, you will find out soon that that is the list that I, I prefer. But there are, I mean, there are other things that could count as intelligence, right? Um, but if a system is doing one of those things, there's some intelligence there. But the thing is, uh, if that intelligence is given to it, if it is programmed into it, if it is engineered into it, I hesitate to call it artificial intelligence. I think that, that the, the intelligence has to be a result of the system itself learning. Okay? So think about uh, a classification example, right? So you're, so you're coding um, and uh, you get coding errors and they say like, hey, this is a name error, this is a type error or something, right? That, so right, the system is intelligent because it can classify my errors. Or, I mean, I can walk up to the sliding door outside the building and it, it recognizes, it detects that there is a person standing there and it opens the doors. Or I can, um, you know, I'm trying to find the, uh, the numbers and so I type this times that into the calculator. The calculator collaborates with me in helping me find that. But I uh, wouldn't want to say, I don't think anybody wants to say, that those are examples of artificial intelligence. And the reason is because someone programmed them to do exactly that, or someone engineered them to do exactly that. So even though they're systems that are non-organic, that are manifesting some intelligence, that intelligence is put into it. It's given to it from the outside. So I think the phrase that makes more sense in that case is calling it automated intelligence and saving the term artificial intelligence for something else when the system does itself learn. Okay, so let's think about what we already know. We already know about the kind of intelligence we have um, and where we get it, right? Um, there's some controversy about what exactly a baby is born with, but we, our intelligence is largely the part of lived experience. We talk to people, uh, we see things, we hear things, uh, we listen to stories, um, we watch things, et cetera, et cetera. All those are parts of our lived experience, and the result, the culmination of those lived experiences is some intelligence, okay? So that's what we already know. Learning, lived experience is the process. Intelligence is the result of that process. Think about this. Uh, you've probably noticed that it, a lot of people find it difficult to talk about artificial intelligence separately from machine learning. Um, in fact, some people just give up. Now they say, like a lot of people just say AI ML, as if like, well, we don't really know how to distinguish, so like, we'll just call it AI ML. Um, but to, to map on to what we already know, learning is the process. Intelligence is the result of that process. So I think it would be good for us to think about AI and ML in that same way. Um, artificial intelligence is the result. Machine learning is the process by which we get the result. That the system itself learning is the process of machine learning. And at the end of it, that intelligence that is generated, that is the result of that process, is artificial. It's artificial intelligence. Um, we'll talk much more about machine learning later. But I guess at this point, let me just say that uh, as I talk to people, I do realize that I, th I think when you say machine learning, some people are picturing robots learning things, doing exercises. Um, that's not machine learning. There is a type of machine learning called reinforcement learning that's a, like maybe may, might make you think of this. But really, we're talking about algorithms learning. We're talking about algorithms being trained on data. Um, and through that process, uh, the algorithms generate some kind of intelligence. All right, I hope this has been helpful in thinking about um, a one approach to AI and thinking about how a system could be artificially intelligent.